Thanks for checking out this video. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Scoop sheets for the video games. Insider Gaming reported on Monday, which sounds like a crime, by the way. Insider Gaming. Says here, AW is strongly considering working with a new development partner for future video games. AW Fight Forever was released on June 29, 2023 to mixed reviews. Game was developed by Yukes, the Osaka-based company that also worked with WWE Games 2018. Remember when everybody was asking, like, how did the game do? People were asking because, you know, they were working on that game for years. And, like, the story was, we're putting a lot of money into this, but, man, that game's going to come out and we're just going to make bank. So it says here, AW knows... That things didn't go the way they expected, one source reportedly said. The game was over budget, and it underdelivered when it came out. It has AEW strongly considering moving to a new developer for their games. There are feelers out to some of the larger developers in the space, including some obvious ones, to see what the interest in wrestling games are. They are doing their due diligence before any decision is made. AEW owns the rights to the Fight Forever engine, can bring it with them to a new developer if they choose. However, today's report does leave room for AW and Ukes to work together again in the future. Everything is on the table, Insider Gaming was told. There were some positives with the Ukes relationship. Some feel that with a foundation in place, another game can make things better rather than giving up after one attempt. But you can argue that there are concerns with how things went in the final year of the game's development. In August 2022, there were reports that Kenny Omega and Ukes had butted heads that Omega had grown frustrated working with the company. April 2024, Insider Gaming reported Ukes felt under pressure to, quote, deliver something faster than it would have should have been. How long does it take to make a game? They were working on it for like four years, weren't they? Well, anyway. I never played the game once. I don't know anything about it. I don't know what it is. Did you play it? Me? Yeah, you. Who else would I be question. talking to? No. No. Mm -mm. Why? There's only a couple of video games I, I play. In Super Mario Brothers? MLB The Show. Donkey Kong? They say Mike Tyson's Punch Out. I beat Tyson. I did too. Yeah. A couple of times. As soon as you get that thing down, it was you were able to. There do was it. like a trick. I can't remember what it was. Yeah, it was like when as soon as he blinked his eyes, you had to hit the, make sure you hit the blocks and everything. Then you landed a couple punches. And then you went back to Super Macho Man eventually at the end. Well, listen, what'd you guys think of the game? Text me, 425-780-7566. I'm not an expert. I want to know what you thought about it. So send me a message, 425-780-7566. What you liked, what you didn't like. Should they go back with Ukes? This person says that timeline is about average. So uh, there you go. Well, hey, look, if they were butting heads, it certainly could be one of the things they were butting heads over and... Kenny Omega saying, hey, you got to get this game out faster. We got people that have been dying to play it. We've been waiting too long. And you could say, hey, we, you haven't given us enough time. You're giving, you might put out a shoddy product. Who knows what took place? This is oh, way out of my, you know, element here, way out of my depths when it comes to talking about video games. People, people can't believe I beat Tyson. I've told this story before, but listen, I had a probably two year period where I was, like, completely obsessed with video games. I was... It was either 5th grade and 6th grade or 6th grade and 7th grade. The Nintendo Entertainment System? So I was either... I think I was, like, maybe 12, 13, and 14. So this would have been... Around about there, yeah. 86, 87, 88, somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. And then, like, I discovered wrestling, and that was it for video games. I, I, I was an athlete at that point. Oh, but yeah. anyway... Yes. During that period, I had, like, the the original Nintendo, and I think I got whatever the Sega was at the time. Sega Genesis was Might have been one. a Genesis or whatever. And, uh, and, man, I played every video game during that period, every single one of them. And you can call me a liar if you want. I don't care. I beat every single solitary game, every one of them. There was no game I could not beat until... I came across Mighty Bomb Jack. Mm. I've told this story before. I hate that game. I absolutely 
positively hate Mighty Mom Jack. I could never beat that game. And back then, there was no internet. And so, like, you could... You could like they had like I think there was like video game magazines and you could mm-hmm. order out to get like su- stuff sent to you that would try and give you tips or whatever to help well, beat there, a game. Yeah, nine nine seven six and nine hundred tip lines. I don't know, but like everything that you got that was going to try to help you beat Mighty Bomb Jack, it was like they were written in Japan, but like very very poorly translated. So, like, I would have been better off trying to read how to beat it in Japanese than whatever was translated into English. You just read it, and it was like, what? What? And I could not beat this game. I remember this to this day. Hated that game. And I think that probably was the end of my... That and discovering wrestling, you know, that was a double whammy. I was like, I was done with video games. I stopped playing them, and I literally have never played one again. Except my uh, when I when I went up, uh, I guess my uncle in law, he he has like a video game room with the actual arcade style games, and he's got like Pac Man and Dig Dug and you know Donkey Kong. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, so I'd play those, but I mean that's it. It was done. Done. Do you ever like the pinball? I'm pretty sure I played pinball. Like I once went back on Wikipedia and I looked up like all the games from that uh, from that era, and you know you read through the list and you're like. Oh my god, I remember that game. I hadn't heard the name of that game in 30 years. Wow. And uh, I, like, I don't remember anything about half of them, but I, I played I played every game. I could beat every single game, including Punch-Out. Now, when you Punch say you, you beat all of these games, like, are you saying you did it all purely, or you got the code for Contra where you got the no. 99 lives? And- no, no. No. So you beat them all clean. Even well, I would the, beat it even like Tyson. You beat it clean. Super Mario Brothers. I could go from the beginning all the way to the end without skipping any worlds and not dying once. Like I no dominated that game. But I also knew like all the tricks, like how to get to negative world, and you know you have to jump and swim backwards to walk mm-hmm. through the wall in the water. All go. that stuff. All of it. Did you like two? Super Mario Brothers two. Actually, yeah, I had to go eh, back. Cause was one right. was good, three was good. I had to go back and actually like two. I didn't. It was. I didn't really like that one. It was all right, but anyway, yes, could never, could never meet Mighty Bomb Jack. I hated that game. There was a Nintendo, and you didn't play this one, I'm sure. I don't know if you ever played the Ring Middleweights, and I think it may have been Super Nintendo or Sega Genesis that it was out for. That was a cool little game, and they actually came out with a second version that barely got any play. It was Julio Cesar Chavez Boxing, basically is what they called it. But that was a great game with Hagler and Hearns and Leonard and you know Sugar Ray Robinson. That was an actual fun boxing game. At a time where it was tough to do boxing games, there still really hasn't been great boxing games, which disappoints me. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.